Hello everybody and welcome back. All right, so I went ahead and I built me a school. That's right. Here is my little school. Right here and I went ahead and built a playground right behind it. It's a shame they don't really use it, but I guess it increases the happiness. But anyways, um, so I went ahead and I started monitoring the children that have an education compared to the ones that don't. Okay, so like let's, for instance, okay, Maria, right? Uh -huh. Right? No, Abel, okay? If you notice right next to her face, she's got a book right next to it. That means that she received an education. Okay, so I wondered if it was actually, a, there was a difference. And actually there was. So, Abel and someone else, forgot his name, they started farming at the same exact time, okay? Now look where this guy's at. He's still not even ready to harvest, hmm. okay? Um, Chilean, whatever. Killian, Chilean, whatever his name is, okay? They started at the same exact time. He's not even ready to ha harvest. He's only at 846. She's already harvesting her potatoes. So there has been an increase. Her production is actually a little bit quicker. She takes less breaks, a little less breaks than he does. This guy just leaves. Look, look at him. He just leaves all the time. He leaves and just takes a sweet time doing his thing, okay? And sometimes he's gone for a while. And But she usually, if she needs to eat, she goes eat or carry some storage, whatever, to her house. But then she always comes back and she continues to work. And so her production is actually a lot, a little bit faster than his. For sure. I mean, look at that. He's not even re ready to harvest. He's still at 876. He needs to get up to 924. He is slow. So I also noticed, I went ahead and took Maria. She also had an edumacation. And um, I went ahead and had her mine some resources for me. And she actually does it a lot quicker than the ones without. So um, they are actually more productive than the ones that don't receive the education. So actually, it's a good idea to build a school. Right now I don't have any children. There's three on the way. I'll have three teenagers to teach and actually this is a good thing. It's actually productive. So um, I would go ahead and build a school for sure because it actually does make a difference. Not a whole lot of difference, but still. I would say maybe like a 20% difference for sure. Yeah. So look at this, look at this. She is just on fire, what? Yeah, she is doing great, for sure. But anyways, yeah, look at this guy. Just started harvesting. Oh, what a joke. But anyways, um, so yeah, it's definitely worth building the schoolhouse because it does increase the production of the workers. So that's what I did. I wanted to try it out and I was monitoring the ones with the edumacation and uh, apparently they are doing a better job. So I wanted to see if I could notice a difference and I actually did. So that's good to know. Good to know. Oh, a building's on fire. Where? Building's on fire, lumberjack. Okay, my lumberjack died of old age. Um, where's the building? I don't know. There is no building on fire. I don't know why it's saying that. Could it have... Oh, <laughs> oh no, I knew it. <laughs> it's my hunter's cabin. Oh no, hurry, save it. Hurry, it's the only one I have. Nobody seems to be like... I guess nobody notices because it's like way out here and this guy hmm. didn't even bring any water with him. D do you even know? Oh my gosh, he doesn't even care. Well, I guess it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn down and I don't know. If I've never actually seen anything burn all the way. <laughs> He's just standing there watching. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just see what happens to the building if you don't even try to put out the fire. Does it just keep burning or does it just burn into ash? That's what my guess is. Well, there's no water nearby and I guess they just can't do anything about it. It's like so far away too from the from the village. I mean, it's about yeah, it's a pretty good di distance for sure. But Oh my gosh, look at her. Like I'm just amazed. This is what this is so great. Like this is amazing. Like if I have all if all my people are going to be educated, this is what production is going to look like all the time. And that's actually great because then you won't really have to help them harvest the fields all the time just so they could finish before winter. So this is definitely a huge difference actually. It's, it's a pretty good difference. So I'm really excited. That's just, it made me really happy. I only have a couple. I actually thought they went to school until they grew up into adults, but um, they actually don't. I guess when they receive their education, even as teenagers, they, I guess, stop going to school until they grow up. So I guess it'll say right next to their face that they received uh -huh. education like that, like Abel right there. So since there aren't any children to teach right now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the teacher for now and see where I could put him well, it's still burning I wonder if it's gonna just keep burning until they put it out oh okay I see. Yeah. I think this means that it's just slowly burning away. Alright. Well, that's a shame. I guess I'll just have to build another one. It was a g in a good place. I mean, I would say my meat isn't as high as it was before when I first started off somewhere back here in this area and then all of a sudden they just wasn't going so well and I was all, mostly just getting hide instead of meat and then I went ahead and relocated it to this spot and it's been doing pretty well for two hunters bringing back meat 364 not bad not bad but it could be better for sure maybe if I had three hunters instead of two but are these guys even doing, you know, since the building's on fire, it doesn't even look like they're doing anything. They're just standing around. They're not even hunting. What is going on here? Hello? Mm -hmm. Do something. I guess they're like, oh no, the building's on fire. We can't do anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put him to work myself. Do that. Where's the other guy? Hmm. Yep, their cabin is going. Uh, I can't see it now. I always lose it. Always. Where are you, meat? There it is. Maybe if I kill a couple of them, they'll just come to collect it. I mean, that's... I think they should. Let's see if that works. Kill a couple of these guys around here. Yeah, we'll see. Just do this for now. Oh, look at you.
Oh, I don't want to kill these guys. I just have way too much hide. I just don't even want to collect anymore. And it's taking up a lot of storage. I'm trying to find the meat I just killed. Hello? What am I doing? I did build me, um, what was it? Oh, it's almost gone, it's slowly burning away. Um, I thought I just saw you. Hello? Where are you? Okay, look for the question mark right there. A forester's lodge and I kind of stopped the production here for now because as you can see um, I have a good amount of logs right now and I just thought that I could put these guys to better use for now until I can um, until I have enough people I can start putting them where they need to be but in the meantime I just kind of Took them away. Okay, well I have one child now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the teacher back. Might as well just keep him until he educates all the rest of those children. Um, doing really good on food, as you can see. Really good. Um, it's amazing. Well, it's fall, so I hope she could still get it done by winter time. This guy is definitely probably not going to get very far, which is unusual because they all started early spring. So they should, if you start early spring, you should be able to harvest the whole field by the end before the winter starts for sure. And um, this guy looks like he's not going to make it at all. I'm going to have to help him. And I think she'll definitely finish for sure. She uh -huh. has to. Yeah, I think she will. Her production's going really fast. I mean, a lot faster than his. He's such a bum. Like, hello, where are you? Like, seriously. She just totally works her butt off. She's doing a, a really good job. Like, I'm just really happy about that. I'm glad I built that schoolhouse. It was definitely a good production increase. Of course, not all of them are edumacated, so... um. Uh -huh. Oh look, Maria is, yes. Yes, she definitely is, so she's, and she is, she's gonna be, she's a, she's a lumberjack. I put three people on lumberjack because my, I mean it went up, it's always like up and down, up and down. And so I decided to put three people here and I guess it increased the production a little bit quicker. But I'm hoping that since they have Maria, they'll go, uh, she'll probably speed up the production of the firewood a little bit quicker than mm -hmm. these guys. Plus she's old and the old workers, for some reason, they work a lot slower and they take a lot longer. Like if she, mm -hmm. if I were to have her cut down a tree right now, she would take longer than uh, just a young adult would mm -hmm. cutting down a tree. They're just really slow. I guess old people don't move so fast. Which is a shame. I wondered if she had an education, she would probably work a little bit faster, even as an old lady, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Abel, I hope you can finish this. But she's still, I mean, she's still doing really good. If these guys started at the same time, she's doing way better than him, for sure. Of course, my um, oats were a little fast because they're fast growing, so course uh, they harvest the oats a lot uh, first mm, didn't do a very good job look at that I only got not a whole lot 
when I have to do oats again. But anyways. Yeah, it's going really well. I wonder if they actually use this. I wanted to go ahead and build a bathhouse because... Um, I actually, what I did end up building a garden house. I actually did. And I wanted to, because I thought that it was going to bring me some kind of resources, but it actually doesn't. <laughs> I guess it just increases the happiness of your people. But um, I don't know. I just kind of felt it was, like it was in the way. And I don't know if... Like, this perimeter around it, it makes me wonder, does it only increase the happiness of people around it? You know, like around that circle? Because if that's the case, then pff, I don't need you. I don't need a garden house because then it won't really make all my people happy. It doesn't seem like it would. And it's kind of stupid. I don't get why every, almost everything has to have a perimeter around it. Like the circle around it. Like it's just dumb it's just dumb I don't I don't I don't understand it I mean the bathhouse also increases the happiness of your people actually I could probably build one right here and it should maybe increase these guys right over here but this is where I'm building my houses so I don't want to build anything that would be in the way what if I build it over here somewhere no nope. I'm saving this spot Actually, for my furnace and my kiln, my carpenter shop, I'm still trying, okay, no, I would want to do a blacksmith shop for sure, yes, it's also going to go over here, I think I should start doing that, I did build another lumberjack lodge, and I wanted to increase my firewood production. And I think I am going to do that because I think it'll help me a lot. Especially when I'm going to have to start making charcoal. Because that's going to take away from my firewood. And so as soon as I... Uh -huh. Oh look, Builder has nothing to do now, huh? I'm still building the roads as well. So it's going really well. Let's see how many people. I probably don't have enough. Okay, well, one more person. That, that makes four. Maybe that will help a little bit. But I definitely want to have more firewood. I think it'll really help me out. Oh, there's still a lot of stuff I want to do. Like, I want to build another fisherman's lodge too. But I just don't have enough people right now. And that's why I built another shack. And I think I'm going to go ahead and up upgrade it too so I can just I'm really good I'm doing really well on food so I don't have to worry about the food right now and so I can feed everybody it's going so well oh she I don't think she finished but you know what she she got she definitely got most of it done compared to this guy so well it's a shame all right well now I have enough people let's go ahead add we'll do five for now and um, the two other fielders will okay let's check on our oh look at that oh I wonder if you can rebuild it let's go ahead and see what we can do with that builder uh -huh. she's not doing anything so let's go ahead and see what maybe she can rebuild that cabin for us look at this meat since she won't go over here herself I think we might have to um, make her do it okay let's see if it'll work oh no I guess not so my guess is I'll just have to deconstruct it. I wonder if she'll have to deconstruct it and then make a new one. Let's go ahead and do that real quick before Oh! Hurry up. Yeah. There you go. 
so I'll just... That's a shame. That's the thing. That's what I hate about having to build stuff this far from the village. But this is where all the meat is at. And so it's like... I have kind of no, no choice but to put it out here. Because if I put it any closer, the only meat I'm going to be killing is these hogs right here. Because they're the only ones that show up to the village. And they're not a whole lot either. And all I'm going to get is just hide. All, just a bunch of hide and barely any meat. So that's, that's a crappy thing about it. So this guy... <laughs> it's just so weird how they just go inside buildings. I don't want to kill him because I, I just don't want any more hide. I don't. I'll just let him walk around. But this guy, I gotta keep an eye out for him. I know you eyeballing my chickens. So, I didn't do wheat because I'm doing really well on grain, for sure. Still doing well, and she's still making flour. And I'm at 696. But once you have that bakery, I mean, it's gonna. That flour is gonna go fast. So you do wanna make sure you just keep making a lot, because you will need a lot. But you also need the grain and not just the flour. So make sure you keep some of your grain as well, because I think the bread is made out of the grain and water instead of flour and water for some reason. But then I guess for the pies it requires the flour. So, yeah, wow. I can't believe I'm really good, doing really well on my vegetables. And I wanna keep it there. That's why I make them harvest at least two fields of potatoes so I could just kinda stay high at this number that I have and my fish is doing really well I'm at 3,000 and it's been at 3,000 for a while so it's kind of like slowly going up but it's it's really good just really good well my hunters aren't hunting anymore so since I have some extra helping hands I'm gonna go ahead and let's start mining look I'm only at I have 83 stone left let's go see if we can mine some more I have to kind of go out further. Look at that. It's not too bad. It's not too far. Let's go ahead and have them mine some stone for us. And then some ore. I'm at 421 clay now. This guy's still mining. It makes me wonder if if he will stop once it reaches the very end right here. That's my guess because it's slowly going up. So and it says resource limit 5,000, but I have at least 6,000 clay to mine. So I wonder if I, if I have to go ahead and e increase my resource limit. So I can go ahead and keep mining, but I'll probably do that later when it's actually time. I'll go ahead and get it up to like 6,000 or something. So watch out for that. You'll get like a... What is it called? I'm not sure. Not a pause, but it'll have like a circle with a little dash on it. Sometimes you'll get that in your fields. If you're like me that produces, like try to produce a lot of vegetables every year, your resource limit, you'll start going over your resource limit. Mine's at what, 20,000? And you're gonna have to go ahead and start increasing this number in order to be able to keep harvesting more potatoes or whatever your vegetables, so. At first, when that happened to me, I didn't know what it what meant. And it was because I reached my resource limit. So, but you can always increase that to go ahead and keep producing more. So at least you have that choice and like it doesn't make you stop. So that's a good thing. I don't really know how high you can go up. 
on your resource limits on any of these things, but I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. But anyways, we are doing really, really well. And building destroyed, okay. Let's go ahead and build, have her start building the hunting cabin again. Try to find a good spot for it. I mean, that was a good, wasn't a bad spot, actually. Maybe not so far. Like this might be a good spot right here. I'll go ahead and build it right here. Oh no, my chickens are dying. Stop it! Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna I really see, look at that. It just goes down during the winter time, but then it just kind of kicks back up. And then it goes down again, and so that's why I want I need more firewood. Especially when I'm gonna start making some charcoal. That's gonna kind of hurt me a little. So that's why I want to increase my firewood production. And then I'm going to go ahead and build that kiln. I really need that. I need to start doing that. And I need to start making better, not like high quality tools. But, and I'm going to start educating everybody. At least all my new children. I have two right now. And then I'm going to have two more. It's good. It's good. Look at him. He's going to learn. Also, I just wanted just for the fun of it. I wanted to. Because is he the only one in school? He's got a little pumpkin in here. There's like a drawing of a skull. <laughs> hey, where's the teacher? He's usually in here with you. But, uh, hello, teacher. There she is. And we just stand here and we look, we just look at this all day long. And that's how I get my education. Cool, cool. Um, I just wanted to see if they, they never come in here. And I guess they can't really use anything in here, which is a shame. I thought it would be kind of cool if you could see the children playing in the playground, but I guess it doesn't work that way. So that's okay. But it's still, at least it increases the happiness, so that's all that matters. All right, well, I'm gonna leave things off here. And I'll see what, well, I said I was gonna build a bakery, but I might just do that or I might just go and and towards a different direction. I haven't decided yet. Sometimes it's like you want to do this, but then like you can't because later you like, well, actually I need this first. And so some things kind of become more important than others. And so, and then just the longer you play, you know, you just kind of have to sit here and strategize and just kind of figure out what's more important and what you need to be doing first instead of trying to rush to just get everything I mean, you eventually will need a lot of this stuff, but you gotta, I guess, build it at the right time. So, and you can only figure that out was when you just like, you know, give it some time. That's why this is just a time consuming game and that's just what you do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please join me in my next one and I'll see you till then. Bye.